While county workers are clearing roadways and debris, power crews are restoring electricity. Today, Smith and Cherokee County officials tell KETK News there is a long road ahead of recovery. KETK's Avery Klanowski tells us where cleanup stands 24 hours after the storm. It's been a nightmare, really. Cherokee County Precinct 1 Commissioner says crews are hard at work clearing roads. Tuesday's storm knocked trees down and left many houses without power. We knew we had a lot of damage when the winds came in because we could see the clouds swirling and uh, real strong winds. Over in Smith County, Emergency Management Coordinator Brandon Moore says most roads are now open. We still have a few closed, uh, mainly due to either down trees or power lines. Uh, yesterday, crews responded to over 350 calls for emergency service. At least seven Smith County agencies, including the Sheriff's Office, Fire Marshal's Office, and Emergency Services Districts, have been checking on people and assessing damage. Yesterday was very hectic, but again, we're limited on manpower, we're limited on equipment. Uh, Encore is making very good strides on getting electricity back. Cherokee and Smith County officials say debris is littered across their counties and ask residents for patience. If we do end up getting more rain and especially more wind, uh, we might be back to square one. Warning East Texans that if more rain makes its way, more trees will fall and the cleanup cycle will begin again. The last six weeks we've had major storms and that we're dealing with it as fast as we can and we'll get it back as in uh, safe conditions as quickly as possible. Avery Klanowski, KETK News.